<clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah chapter 29. I'm going to start at verse um, 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh and their works are in the dark, and they say, who sees us and who knows us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he hath no understanding? I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kol Loyim La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachalabas Pukatam, to my honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim, across the four corners of the earth. Um, preaching this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Aqua, the Niakim of the listening and learning. Or willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations with whom subscribe to the truth. To you, I say Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, and basically, I was listening to um, D.L. Hughley earlier today came across some information i wasn't aware of so i went and checked it out and lord and behold it was actually true so um made me think of um you know i, I researched it and, and you know this is allegedly being said about these two gentlemen and that's why i came out um with that scripture about um this devil you know because people do things in the dark you know that's esau's um his old mo you know he'll present himself one way in front of the public eye, but secretly behind closed doors, he'll be doing all kind of matter of mischief, you know. Or, um, so um, that's what I was led with the Isaiah 29 and verse um, 16. For your, 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 surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the plotter's clay, you know, because this man has put in the minds of the people that it's okay to... Um, Basically, a man could be with a man or a woman could be with a woman. A child can, a child doesn't even know what it wants to eat day to day. A child doesn't even know what they want to be when they grow up. But yet, still, they know they want to be a girl for the rest of their life when they're a boy. You know, you know, the, the, and, and, and that's what that, 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 that wine, you know, this devil in his wine, you know. So a drink, a, a drink that you uh, 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 hate that you ever took. <laughs> So before I get started, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Elohim La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Racha, Kodash Bukatam. Some honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and do rule, and teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim, um, around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the um, Akwa, to the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say shalom. So this is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit, through the power of Yahweh Shimei Shai. And uh, before I jump right into the article, you know, scriptures talks about, um, you know, a man should not lay with mankind. I think it's in Leviticus 18, 22. This is the book of Leviticus 18 and verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind is abomination. So a man should not lay with another man as you will lay with a woman. So, you know, how a man and a woman have relations. Well, a man and a man can't have the same kind of relations because a man has the same kind of equipment that the man has. So, you know, the only way to penetrate that man is to do something that is abominable, you know, um, in the eyes of the heavenly father. And so much so, I'm reading it straight out the scriptures. This is not me ad-libbing or my opinion, you know, because a lot of people, um, you know, tend to go by based on their opinions. And then, you know, th you know, this was how the Most High Yahweh Shemel Shah felt because he literally um, put it in the scriptures twice. Now, this is in the law. So this is Levit Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed abomination they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon their, the blood shall be upon them. So, you know, you it, it not only said that you shouldn't do it, it also said it's a punishment for doing it. 
Now, what if this red Hebrew Edomite, who you people ignorant call the so-called white man, he says it's okay, you know, you love who you love and yada, yada, yada. But that's not true. You know, uh, when you go into the book of Romans, it actually tells you that uh, the Lord gave you over to your own lust. This is Romans chapter 1. And... Uh, Romans chapter 1 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 21 since I said, um, you know, because I read that in um, Isaiah 29 and verse 15 about people doing the things in the secret. Romans 1 and 21, because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as power, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. You know, I think of that guy Noah Harari or the understudy of Klaus Schwab's. Uh, I was listening to the elder brother Amawan Gabar. He was like, whatever that that stick figure guy name is. <laughs> he do look like a little cartoon here. But anyhow, uh, it says it charge the glory. You know, because in his mind, they think they they they're, they're so wise. When at the end of the day, you know, scriptures tell you that the wisdom of, is the fear. True wisdom is fear of the Yahweh Shemuel Shah. You know, it tells you in the, the scriptures that the most high is the king of tears. So, you know, it also tells you that the deceive and the deceiver are both his. And hence this red Hebrew Edomite. This devil really thinks the most high is with him, not understanding that you play a part that the Lord is going to jack your ass up. He uh, he gave you the power to jack us up, but he going to fuck you up for even doing it. Hey, that, now, that's true power, right? Get a get a person to do something and then judge you based on what you what you couldn't even control doing. It's um, verse 23 and change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man into birds and four footed beasts and creepy things. So, again, that's this devil turning the uh, turning of things upside down. Um, wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanliness. So the most high, you know, uh, it tells you in the scriptures about how uh, the most high the, uh, makes no man sin of, you know, but that basically your own. Um, your own lust and your own vain, you know, your own vain um, desires is what got you to sin. Roughly paraphrased. It says, Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So for a man to lay with another man, that's a dishonor. You know, now we live in a society where, like I say, a man can say he a woman, but, you know, you got, you, you know, you got people that don't, that's just like, you got people in this society that have a, a, a infectious disease like AIDS or HIV and will give it to a person without letting them make, making it known. And if you do that, you could be basically charged with murder. So why wouldn't it be the same if a man literally became a woman? Why wouldn't that man have to make it known to these people that they land with that they once were, you know, men and vice versa? This is a fucked up place. You know, scripture make, made me think of um, Isaiah chapter 5 and uh, verse 20 because it talks about woe to them that call evil good and good evil. This is Isaiah 5 and tw verse 20 and it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know, so, you know, even, I mean, woe to them, meaning destruction to this devil for even giving these people a, you know, telling them that it was okay to even feel this way or to be able to, you know, to basically for promoting this. Woe to that fucking devil. You know, uh, I read Romans. It's lucky. It says, we're back in Romans 1 and verse 25, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua gave them up Onto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. <coughs> so lucky at verse 27, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. And I go back to my point. And at the most high allowed them to sin or or, or, or attempting them to sin it. That's their own lust. One toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, because if they retain Yahweh Bashim Yahushua in their knowledge, they would know that the, the, the Most High is against this. But you know, like I said, this red Hebrew Edomite, that's not truly with the scriptures anyway. You know, he used it for his purpose. But you know, this man 
it tr trust is in pseudoscience, you know what I mean? Which is really witchcraft. Uh, even like uh, it says, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient in order to actually judge them because the Lord is going to judge this devil based on all of this. So, uh, what else do I got? And I'm going to bring this out real quick. That's what the scriptures say. Zephaniah chapter 3. It reads, Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. And this place is the oppressing city. <laughs> Babylon the Great, the great whore. You know, that's basically mingled with all these different nations passing on her philosophies. You know, this place is a harlot, you know. Because she in bed with all these different countries. So lock it. Because she in bed with all these different countries. So that's what make her a harlot. You know, a, a, a real woman is supposed to be with one man. America promotes a woman could be <laughs> with multiple men. And that's why they so fucked up and bugged out. That's the second time I've seen that um, article. You know, not to digress, but it, it makes me think. You know, I've been seeing a lot of the same articles over and over in the last past couple of days. So it would be making me think like how we constantly bringing out the same information like we bringing down this place. It's like they prophesied too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's ultimately, you know, it's just all the will of, you know, how about some y'all shut? You know what I mean? Like I've been see, noticing that people talk about this Walmart and these major retailers basically have cut dramatically a lot of their inventory. You know, of, 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 of like the orders that they were supposed to bring in. And that's how you know something about to happen. You know, I don't know what exactly, but speaking as a man, I don't see another income tax cover. You know what I mean? They already talking about, uh, I mean, it'd be nice, but like the elder Yashua was made a statement. Uh, I forgot where, but it was recently within like the last two weeks of a month. He said, you know, we ain't here to try and get an income tax. <laughs> Fuck that. Because the truth, of, truth is this. I mean, I could utilize that. But, you know, I, you know, the sooner with the Lord, and, and, you know, scriptures talk about woe to them that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Because we don't know what our, our end is, what our lot is. But at the same time, to, you know, this slow kill shit, this shit, you know, but you got to also develop patience like Yahweh B'Shem Shah has. You know, the, the Lord Yahweh B'Shem Shah is long suffering and we made in his image. So we should be able to have the patience to suffer because we deserve it. You know, I was talking to a younger brother. He was sitting up there saying, you know. At the end of the day, this place got to die. It's got to be, uh, you know, it's got to be bitter, you know, uh, and long and drawn out because this bitch got to surfer. This, this is a horrible place. But uh, not to transgress, I heard this on the radio on D.L. Hughesley's show. Went and did some research and come to find out, <laughs> you know, they laughing at these two guys, you know what I mean? Now, I'm going to make this statement. I remember when I was homeless, I met a guy, he was from New York. And the guy actually had talent, you know, he, he could rap. And he was like, he'd been in the studio. Um, he, I, for, I forgot where he was from in New York, but he was like, you know, the studio he used to um, deal with, literally, Trey Songs used to pop up in there. And he said out his mouth, which you, you know, you, sometimes you can't listen to what you hear gossip, you know, um, Charleston White proved that. But I don't fuck with Charleston White because this dude is, he let you know he the police. Like, who the fuck want to be around a guy like that? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, that, what's cute about that? You try to make yourself relevant off of the fact, like, who like who will really respect this guy? You in the club doing nigga shit, but then you going to tell on everybody. But then you sporting around big ass uh, AR-15s. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. This shit. This world is a stage. But uh, not uh, back to what I was saying. The guy said that he... You know, Trey Songs would pop up at the studio with with a training. And you clearly, you know what I mean? So I was hearing shit like that about Trey Songs back then. So it's not far fetched because you got a lot of these guys that's off into that. You know, like when Cat Williams was basically, uh, when he did that comedy show and he and he kind of spilled the beans on. You know, is that Professor Ogilvy? You know what I mean? You know, so you know, you got some people that's into that freakism, that that lifestyle. You know. You know, that Holly weird. So it reads, transgender woman claims that she had relations with Ray J and Trey Songs they didn't know. Now, if a woman wants you to off the drip, like I heard somebody make a statement like that, and that's the truth. If a female just off the drip wants you to, first of all, it's not lawful for you to pop a woman right there anyway. That's what the Lord gave her the cool for. You know what I mean? 
fuck would you want to pop a, a, a woman in a, in, a, in a, you know, in, a, in, a, in, a, in my mind, that's an exit. It's, it's shit. It's waste come out of there. Why would you, you know, you know, but anyhow, <coughs> unless they had the surgery, you know what I mean? It says some explosive claims are being made in the popular app Clubhouse. Media take out learn that a beautiful trans, <laughs> how a transmitter go be beautiful model is claiming that she had the, you know, and this ain't the first time, you know, you had that, that one, um, I think there was a transgender. I can't think of that person's name, but it was with Chingy, and they they was on um, one of those little um, reality shows. I would have to look it up, but it was a transgender that's supposed to deal with the rapper Chingy. You know, at first they didn't know it was transgender. They came out as transgender. You know, they said Benzino got caught with a transgender. A lot of these fucking guys is dealing with transgenders, just like a lot of these guys is dealing with them uh, humiliation rituals. Those are rituals. You know, like you just had that the football player walking around in dresses. And you can see the one football player or basketball player, he you could tell he wasn't with it, but he did it just because he trying to hold on to the shit he got. You know. Talks about in the scriptures, uh what was the, 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 to gain the whole world and lose your very soul, roughly paraphrased. You know. And th th you know, this this world is like garbage, you know what I mean? <laughs> like for real. But it reads some explosives. Claims are being made on the popular app Clubhouse Media Take Out Learn that a beautiful transgender model is claiming that she has had relationships relationships with some of the most famous men in the world without disclosing her transgender status trans status. The trans lady claims that the men never knew that she was born born with male body parts because she underwent a surgical treatment that altered her body to make them accessible if you get what we mean. So Right, so basically, yes, yeah, she had a surgery. A trans woman named is Shayla explained that she had relations with Ray J and Trey Songs on different occasions. She says that both men were, un were unaware that she was transgender because she had vaginal plasty. Vaginal plasty is the construction of a vagina. The scrotal tissue is used to create the labia majora. The glands of the penis is used to create a clitoris and penile shaft tissues and scrotal grafts are used to create the inner vaginal walls. Ah, that's enough information. A trans woman is claiming that both Trey Songs and Ray J were in relationship with her. She also claimed that because she had surgery, neither men were aware. Thoughts? So they just got these guys on blast. <laughs> and, you know, that's just judging for the all high as well. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's true because we are in uh, the city of confusion and we watching this place being broken down right before our eyes, you know. So, you know, you know, and, and that's, you know, you know, because I, I seen basically D.L. Hughley mentioned it, made me go check it out. And then Vlad had already mentioned it on his shit on his platform. So, you know. You know, that's also distraction. You know, it's a stumbling block. Somebody's going to be more focused on it. it but it also, it's the Lord mocking them, you know. You know, because you got to understand them entertainers, they basically, you know, their their, their name and their livelihood is based off of, you know, they, they, their reputation. So, you know what I mean? A ladies' man like Ray J come to find out, <laughs> he's supposed to be, you know, eh, you know. But then again, this place is so destroyed, you know. Uh, any real man gonna be like wow or look at him like this you know because a lot of men made statements and comments on it you know the thing is a man that like that could be something that you'll lose your life over you know what i'm saying but uh, this society you know what I mean? uh, you got people that literally sided with the fact that they didn't have to this thing didn't have to disclose that it was once a, a man Uh. Oh yeah, and that's why you like I said you seeing the this place you know the vibration is so low and fucked up you know I mean you got real headlining news going on but they they talking about this Ray J shit but I I found it interesting because like I said the city of confusion you know now like I said I don't know which one of them is with that you know again we all know that his rituals performed in Hollywood you know sexual uh, and sexual in nature as well you know when you go into uh satanic cults and whatnot you got different rituals done for different reasons you know if it's blood sacrifices to um sexual orgies you know if they dealing with animals with people all that 
So, you know, I mean, <clears throat> when you go into Holly Weird, some of these people are well aware of their land with um with with with, with, with men or land with men and women with women. You know, casting couch information, you know. Shit, look at here, uh, Marilyn Manson. This motherfucker so fucked up. This man went and got titties put on him. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Grown ass man got titties. And he got a woman. Uh, so, again, this place is the city of confusion. Uh, back in Zephaniah chapter 3, woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the present city. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted him not in the Lord. She drew not near to her power. Her princes within are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones till the morrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. Uh, just Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He fell if not, but the unjust know of no shame. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's a judgment to a degree because, again, like I said, for this information to come out, this person just literally went out there and like, oh, yeah, well, I, I've been laying with these people. You know what I mean? Now, you got, like I said, again, you should never just take something and run with it. I mean, again, the guy Charleston White proved that. But at the same time, you know, show you how this media can be exploited <clears throat> and how rumors get started. But nonetheless, this ain't far-fetched to find out that these, I mean, you know, you know I mean, Holly Weird is Holly Weird for a reason. <laughs> this is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10, and it reads, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And America is the city of confusion. You know, there's crying and there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. Verse 12 in the city, in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. You know, you hearing about, you know, this inflation that is affecting this whole country, you know, uh, you know, the lack of food, you know, I remember uh, during the summertime, they was talking about, you know, uh, you had a lot of articles where talk about they was going without eating to feed their children and yada, yada, yada. So this place is being broken down because the Lord is about to judge this great whore, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. So this is the book of Revelations, chapter 22, and it reads... Revelations 22 and 11, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. Verse 12, and this is rare letter, so this is Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, um, speaking, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. And that's another point to prove that the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, or Yahweh the Father, created Yahweh Shah uh, first because it say, I am Alpha and Omega. <laughs> I'm the first or the beginning and the end. Blessed are they that do this, Salaki. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without or dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whoever love them and make of a lie. We'll end with this. this is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 5 for this we so like it, for this ye know that no whoremonger nor unclean person nor a covetous man who is a an, an who is an idolater hath in any hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Mashiach and of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I think it was one of revelations where it goes into the, not a fit nor a feminine Says there's that's First Corinthians chapter says there's a righteousness inherit 
1 Corinthians chapter uh, 6, verse 9. It says, Know ye not, 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So the Lord is not going to take any homosexual, no matter what these people sit up there and say with their wacky tacky Christianity, you know, and the Lord loves everybody and everybody's going to be saved. I'm reading the scripture. It says the Lord is not going to take a adulterer, a fornicator, nor a idolater, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And when you abuse yourself with mankind, that's a man dealing with a man. And vice versa, a woman with a woman. You know, these these A, B, C, D, E, F, G people. So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian. And the thing is this. If you're an Israelite and you are in them lifestyles, if you repent, meaning you turn back and pray and ask for forgiveness, the Lord can forgive you for that. That's not a, you know, the Lord, you know, because the whole thing, why people are going to be destroyed, especially our people, not well, the reason why our people are going to be destroyed is because they refuse to repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, we ain't talking about repent and then go back and do it again. We talking about repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, of your power. So, for any Black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole, Indian, West Indian, or Hessian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of your power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, or you will be judged and destroyed. With that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Allah Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Racha Kodash Barakatham. Double honors to my apostles. The elders of Great Millstone teach and do real well. Peace and salutations to the Akim. Also, four corners of the earth pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom out to the Salaki. Shalom out to the Akwa. To the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom out to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations. Here, like the other nations, but who subscribe to this truth to you, I say Shalom. The next time I'm able to come with another lesson, I say Shalom, Shalom. Wath Lapa Ball, Shalom. Shalom.